very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. He doesn't go out for brunch with his disciples. He doesn't sleep in late because it was a long day and he just needs to catch up on some sleep. But while it's still dark out, he gets up. And remember this. He just spent 40 days in solitude, comes back for one day of work, and heads right back out to practice more silence and solitude. That's how foundational this spiritual habit was for Jesus. By the way, when I talk about spiritual habit, all I'm talking about is posturing your mind and your body in a way to realign with God and tap into the power of His Holy Spirit. Okay, it's what you do with your mind and body to posture yourself in a way that I'm going to realign with God and connect with the power of His Holy Spirit. For Jesus, He's like, I need that. I need to be realigned with my Father in heaven. I need time and space alone with my Father in heaven and with my own soul. So he goes right back out into the lonely place, a solitary place where he can pray after one day on the job. And this was so important, he decided his disciples into this practice as well. He's with them for three years, and after he leaves, they're going to be on their own. So he's already instilling this practice, encouraging this habit for them. Look at Mark chapter 6. It said, then because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. See, again, this is the opposite of what our culture does. What does our culture do? It's like, man, it was a long day. Let's go out and get some drinks. Relax, right? There's nothing wrong with that, but Jesus says, hey, listen, we need a deeper rest. We don't just need to distract ourselves from the hurry. We don't just need to cover up and mask the fact that we're exhausted. You need something that will actually give rest to your soul. So we're going to go to a quiet place by ourselves so that we can be alone in God's presence and in the presence of our own soul. 